Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to create this advanced and reusable pricing card widget for Elementor using a free Elementor add-on. Amazing thing is that it works exactly the same as the native Elementor widgets. For example, you can easily drag and drop this widget in a single step into your Elementor page. Furthermore, you can easily change and customize the color and appearance of every component of this widget from the right side of the Elementor editor. So without any further ado, let's get started. To create a similar widget shown during the video intro, you will be required to install two plugins, the first one is Unlimited Elements, and the second one is Elementor. To install the required plugins, first, go to the WordPress dashboard, then hover over the Plugins tab, and then click on Add New. Now just type Unlimited Elements in the plugin search field. Here you will get a small plugin with the same name by Unlimited Elements. Just install and activate this plugin. Similarly, install and activate the Elemental plugin too. To create the pricing card Elemental widget, just scroll down to the bottom side of the WordPress dashboard, then hover over the Unlimited Elements tab, and then click on the widgets. Now here by default, you will get hundreds of free and pro widgets, you can install any widget as you like, but for now, we will be creating a new widget from scratch using the widget creator feature of this plugin. Now let's first create a new category for our widget. To do so, just click on this plus button, then type the category name, and then click on this button. To add a new widget, just navigate to the newly created category, then click on the Add Widget button. Now here, just type the widget title, name, description, and then click on this button. Here you can see, our newly created widget has appeared, but currently, this widget is not a functional widget because we have not added any code to this widget. In order to create the same type of pricing card Elementor widget as shown in the video introduction, we will be requiring a code block of HTML as well as a few blocks of custom CSS. By the way, if you don't know anything about HTML and CSS, then don't worry, you can download the required code after scanning this QR code or after directly visiting the link shown here, and then follow along with me. Now to edit the widget, just click on these three dots, and then click on the Edit in New Tab option. Now here in the General tab, you can edit the widget title, name, description, icon, etc. Let me set an icon for our widget. To set an icon, just click on this button to insert a relevant icon for your widget. Now switch to the Item Attributes tab, and then set yes to the Enable Items radio button. Now switch to the HTML tab, then delete the default text from this field, and then paste copied widget HTML code from the downloaded file. Now here below the widget HTML field, you will get an item HTML input field. Here just copy and paste the item HTML code snippet from the item HTML code file. If you are not understanding these codes, then don't worry, I will be explaining these things in a detailed manner at a later stage. Now switch to the CSS tab, and then paste the copied widget CSS from the widget CSS file. Now switch to the J slash CSS includes tab, and then check the font awesome library checkbox because we have used a font awesome logo inside our widget. Now we have pretty much done with everything except the attributes part. Now, what is the attribute? The attributes will make our widget flexible towards the customization, in another word, you will get the settings to change the text, color, etc. in the Elementor pricing widget. To create the required attribute, just switch to the Attributes tab. Now here, let's first create the different setting sections for our Elementor pricing widget. Here by default, you will get a section with the name of General. 
Just click on this pencil icon to edit the default name. Now let's add a few new setting sections in our pricing widget. To do so, just click on this plus button, then give the name, and then click on this button. Now let's create a text field attribute in our content editor section. To create attribute, just select the section, then click on this button. Now here, select the attribute type from this drop-down. For now, let's select text field because we are creating a setting attribute for title text input field. Here input the title, name, default value. Now here, make sure to check this checkbox so that this text input field font is editable. In the end, just click on the Add Attribute button. Now we have successfully created a title input field attribute for our pricing widget. In order to get settings working, you need to add the attribute code of your created attribute into your widget code. In fact, let me show how you can add the attribute code into your widget code. To do so, let me first switch to the HTML tab. Once you will create an attribute, then the attribute code of the same attribute will appear here automatically. To add the attribute code, you just need to select the section of the code, then click on the relevant attribute code here on the right side. Now here, I have already added all the required attribute code into my HTML code, so I don't require to add them again, I just need to create attributes with exactly the same values. I have given all the exact same code to you via download link, so you also don't need to add any attribute code into your HTML or CSS code as I have already added all the required attribute code. Now here, one thing you need to ensure that keep all the attributes spelling exactly the same as mine, otherwise, your settings will not work. To help you out here, I have created a PDF file for the attribute input values, make sure to copy and paste the exact same value in the relevant field from the PDF file. Now. Let me create all the remaining attributes for our widget settings. But before that if you like this video, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Now to create the attributes, again switch to the attributes tab. And then create the exact same attributes with exact same values as mine. Here I'm just fast forwarding the video so that you will not get bored.
Now we have created all the required attributes for pricing widget settings. One thing still remains to create, that is default values for our Elementor pricing card widget features. To do so, first of all, switch to the item attributes tab, then type features in the section name. Now click on the update button. Now, click on the widget default button. Then click on the add item button. And then type the default value. In the end, just click on the add item button. Similarly, you can add any amount of default value for your widget. For now, let me add four more features default values. In the end, just save the default values. Now we have finished our widget creation, let me test if our pricing widget is working or not. Let me add our newly created pricing widget to our website's homepage. Here if you can see, I have already added a three-column layout in a section in a single column structure. Let's search and drop our pricing card widget into one of the inner section columns. Now here you can see, our pricing widget has appeared. Let me drag and drop this widget inside the middle inner section column. Now let me check if our customization settings and editable fields working or not. From this section, you can edit the text content. From the background color section, you can change the background color of different areas. From this button editor section, you can edit button text, icon, typography, link, and text color. From the label editor option, you can show or hide the label. You can also change the background. From here, you can add the background shadow to your Elementor widget. From this miscellaneous section, you will get a few additional widget customization settings. And from the features section, you can add, delete, and edit the existing feature, just like this. Furthermore, from the Style tab, you can stylize the text typography of different areas. Now let me duplicate and edit the widget as per three different plans. Now let's check the responsiveness of our Elementor pricing widget on different devices. Here our widget is looking perfect on all devices. Hey, if you are with me until now, then I have a gift for you. 
You don't need to do this much manual work to create this widget, you just need to download the widget file from this link. Then install the Elementor and Unlimited Elements plugins. Now go to the widgets option of the Unlimited Elements. Then import the widget after clicking on this button. And then enjoy your saved time. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get new video updates, and make sure to check out the end screen video. Guys, how about our video pace, is it slow or fast, or else good? Let me know in the comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time.